Hey guys, welcome back to Medicine Deconstructed. I'm Dr. Jay Rutland, your host. I appreciate all the comments and feedback you guys have left. I really take that into account and I hope to apply the information you leave me going forward. I really appreciate that. Being a chest physician and being a pulmonologist, one of the diseases that I especially love to take care of is called interstitial lung disease. We're gonna talk about that and we're gonna get into that. This is a little bit more technical than my previous episodes, but I hope with the teaching that took place before that you guys can kind of sort of follow along and figure out exactly what I'm talking about. So what is interstitial lung disease? So quick review, let's go over the lung. You take that big breath in, that breath travels down your trachea. The trachea breaks down into a right and left trachea or main stem bronchi. Those bronchi further break down into little pipes that we call bronchioles. Those are surrounded by muscle. Remember, those get inflamed in asthma. They carry air to a bunch of balloons stacked on top of one another that we call alveoli. When you blow up a balloon, that lining of the balloon is where your environment or air interface with your bloodstream. And that's where oxygen diffuses across that membrane to get into your bloodstream. So what's interstitial lung disease? Let's start from that balloon. That lining of that balloon, that is considered interstitial. So what I am talking about here is inflammation in that interstitial. So if you have inflammation in that interstitium, if it's thicker, if it's full of white blood cells, if it's full of water, that oxygen has to travel farther across that membrane to get into the bloodstream. It's more difficult. That is what the first part of the interstitium actually is. So when I say interstitial lung disease, I'm talking about disease at that balloon. Now, we're gonna go a little bit more macroscopically. Those collections of balloons, they all collect within a certain region. There's a basic unit of lung function that we call the secondary pulmonary lobule. The secondary pulmonary lobule is surrounded by connective tissue, and then you have the stacks of balloons within that connective tissue. And in the center of those balloons, in the center of that stack of balloons, is the pulmonary artery and the bronchial. The bronchial is what's carrying air to those balloons. So the interstitium is that connective tissue that surrounds those balloons. It is also the lining of the balloon and it's the tissue that travels around the bronchial and around that pulmonary artery. What travels within that connective tissue and around those balloons and around that pulmonary artery and around that bronchial? One of the things that travels there, we've already discussed, that's the lymph system. So the lymphatic system travels around that area. And then you have the supporting structures of the lung that travel there as well. When you have interstitial lung disease, you have inflammation in those areas. When we say interstitial lung disease or ILD, we mean that there's inflammation around that balloon and there's inflammation around that pulmonary artery and around that bronchial and around that secondary pulmonary lobule. When you have that inflammation there, it is really difficult for oxygen to get across that membrane and to get into your bloodstream. Sometimes that inflammation prevents oxygen from even getting into that balloon because that balloon is full of white blood cells. And if there's white blood cells there, that oxygen has nowhere to maneuver. Luckily, your lung is so large that it's gonna find a place for that oxygen to be able to get into your bloodstream. That is unless that interstitial lung disease is throughout your entire lung. So what kind of symptoms are you gonna have? You're gonna be short of breath because you can't get oxygen in. You're gonna be tired because you don't have that energy anymore. You're gonna cough because remember that inflammation takes place around that bronchial, that pipe that has muscle around it. 
If that muscle gets inflamed, that bronchial starts contracting and you may cough and you may wheeze. Those are the symptoms that take place with interstitial lung disease. It's very, very important to catch it early. One of the most common types of interstitial lung disease is called idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. I'm gonna make it easy for you. Idiopathic means we don't know what the hell causes it. Pulmonary stands for lung and fibrosis stands for scarring. It's just like when you scratch your skin and you've got a scar there and it never looks the same, that's the scarring that takes place. We've all fallen off a fence or fallen off a bike and we have scars on our knee. You look at it and that scar is there the entire length of your life. It never really changes. You always remember how you got it. Well, that type of scarring can take place in the lung and it's called fibrosis or idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. How do we diagnose ILD or IPF, which stands for idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis? Well, there's something called a CAT scan. You guys have all heard of a CAT scan. The CAT scan that we order is called a high resolution chest CT, right? It's a CAT scan. It basically takes your body and it slices it in little thin sections. Shoop, 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 shoop. That's what it does. That's where we can see on the computer little sections of those pulmonary lobules and we can see those bronchioles and we can see some of those balloons and see if inflammation is present. If inflammation is present, we got to go to work. We got to do our job and we got to figure out what's causing that inflammation. We will do that. We may do what's called a bronchoscopy. Look in your lung, squirt some fluid in, suck it out, look at it under a microscope and see what type of inflammation is taking place. Either way, we're gonna work it up for you. I know we got a little technical today with interstitial lung disease and what it is, but I think it's important for you guys to be informed. I know you understand that that balloon is part of the interstitium. I know you understand that that secondary pulmonary lobule that's surrounded by connective tissue, which, in, which includes the lymphatic system, is part of the interstitium. And inflammation of those regions that I just described is what ILD or interstitial lung disease is. I hope you learned something tonight. I really appreciate you joining me for Medicine Deconstructed. Please leave your comments and feedback, and I hope to improve the content moving forward. I know we got a little technical, and I apologize for that, but I want you to be informed. Remember, I want you to be better today than you were yesterday. Thanks for joining me. Trick Jamie Cedric.